Hello! Yes, I was just getting ready to actually do a Christmas special for AAR On Air. And then the guy stopped me in the street and he said, I can sort that for you. What? Said I. I can sort that. I've got three guys who can do that. No problem at all. You go off and enjoy your Christmas. Right, said I. What could possibly go wrong? Hello and welcome to what is an AAR special where no expense has been spent on a challenge to find the best bullpup in the world. Yes, the director, Mr. Won't Mott, sent us uh, away to a challenge to find what each of us consider to be the best bullpup from the vast array out there. In this particular challenge, there was no pricing set or limitations, just the need to prove that they are a viable alternative to a real rifle, as Mr. Wokeman calls it. So naturally I've chosen the best and will naturally come out the winner in this challenge. Well, I was the first to, to want to arrive with the sensible choice, of course, the bullpup for all seasons, German made strong and dependable. I was next on the scene with a piece of fantastic engineering, a gun for the modern era, incorporating design and superb accuracy, something to behold, beauty and engineering rolled into one. These pair can argue all they like. I've bought the only real choice when it comes to a proper manly bullpup. This has everything you could possibly want in a setup. Accuracy, perfect balance. This is so accurate it has put the fly vasectomy clinic out of business. What is that? The Walther Rain? It's just all plastic. Rubbish. It's rugged, lightweight ballistic polymer, actually. And if you knew anything about anything, you would realise it's the material of choice for all weather guns. It's light. The choice of the world's military because it's durable and this is the shortest bullpup here and that's what the bullpups are all about. So it's got to be a clear winner. What you actually need is a piece of beautiful handcrafted walnut stock rolled on the thighs of Polynesian virgins. Polynesian virgins? Yep. Really? Well, maybe not the last bit, but just how nice is that? Rubbish. All this ballard lipstick poly mouse or whatever you call it is all well and good and your walnut old hat lump of wood is very yesterday. What you really need is this forest laminate. Plywood. It's not plywood. Yes, it is. This is planet-saving materials shaped in the most intricate of colours and designs to be ergonomically splendiferous. And it's heavy. It's not as heavy as yours. Yes, but there's more of it, and it's a balanced weight and a natural dense material. Anyway, let's not get bogged down on who's got the best stock. It's not about the dress, it's about what's inside. Really? Not only is mine the best looking one here, it is fully ambidextrous with a super smooth side lever that can be moved from right to left, left to right to suit the individual's needs and preferences. So can mine. And mine. Did I mention that it has an CZ barrel? Would that be the same CZ barrel that is in mine? <coughs> uh -huh. Lothar Walther. I think we can all agree we have pretty good barrels fitted. 
Power levels then. This regulated wall terrain is known for always carrying a healthy power level and this is no exception. At 11.5 foot pounds using standard 15.89 grain 22 pellets. Haha! <laughs> 11.7 foot pounds using 10.34 grain in 177. Nice and flat trajectory too with its AGT regulator on board, my Vulcan 3. Speed and power, 64.2 foot-pounds at 923 feet per second with the proper 25 cal pellets. Ha! What? That's FAC power. Yes. But that's cheating. Mr. Wokemot didn't say anything about keeping below sub. 12. Well, your shot count is going to be down. Who cares? I've got a 360cc carbon tank on the front. Loads of shots. Ha! 480 cc's. 280. What? 280. How many? 280 cc's. But it's much lighter and more agile if you're going to carry it around all day rather than your heavier cannon and rainforest eater. So, I think we've established mine is the best one here. No, we haven't. Mine is. Why don't we talk price then? Uh, I don't think we need to do that. Really? Why is that then? How much is yours? Well, quality such as this doesn't come cheap and at £1,460 is really very good value. And yours, ham and chips? Moving on. Come on, how much? £1,650. But this comes with two magazines, bag, filler, and a vernier pen. £765. What? £765. No, you don't get a bag, but you've got quite a few quid left over to buy one if you want one. Well, I don't think we're going to resolve this here. We need to get these out on the Covid paddock. Because some woman named Flabby is driving around our Ebola drome. Here we go, out at 100 metres. What? 100 metres? We're not all firing cannons, you know. And Mr. Wontmont has said we need to be shooting 0.68 cal paintballs at 40 metres in his text. Hello, viewers. As you would expect, I've done everything sensibly. Sensible gear and the right gun for the job. They said a bullpup, you can't get much shorter than this. It's ultra light, ideal for going round barns. I've put a Vector Optics Orion on the top just to show how good this is. Marvellous gun. I've obviously brought the best one here. I've got a 2.2 calibre. The magazines are simplicity itself to load. And furthermore, you can put them in whichever side you like, from the left or the right. That makes this the most ambidextrous one here. I don't care what the rest of them say. Right, Mr. Wokeman decided he wanted us to shoot down at 40 metres on paintballs. Now these things are tiny. That's what we're shooting down there. The Walther Rain will do it no problem at all. Let's give it a go, shall we? <laughs> Smooth as silk, exactly what you want. Never mind what the rest of them say. And just to prove it, take the magazine out, put it in the other side and carry on. Yes, undoubtedly the best one here. So I'll fill them up and have another go and show it's not a fluke. You can do it every time with this one. This is the best gun here. Never mind what the others say, they haven't got a clue. This is the AGT Vulcan 3 in beautiful walnut. 
You can have it in a polymer base if you like as well, which is really hard wearing and durable if you're going to use it out and about in the pest control environment. This is terrific. Carbon fibre, gloss carbon fibre tank on the front with loads of air for loads of shots. This is the 177, this is the one you want for target work. Not only is this the best one here, it might be the most expensive but it's the best value for money. This has also got the best scope on it, the Continental. What a piece of kit. So, let's show you because these magazines are simplicity itself to load, pre-loaded in, ready to go. Let me show you just how accurate this one is. Quiet as a mouse and it hasn't even got a silencer on it. Oh, you're funny men. You really are funny men. Fantastic. The Vulcan 3. All day long. Did I tell you that one of the best YouTubers around, this is his favourite gun at the moment. This is absolutely fantastic. And you might have seen his channel. It looks very familiar. Don't listen to either of the others. They haven't got a clue what they're talking about. This calibre gun, Cricket 2 Tactical. This is the way forward. It has so many trick bits to it that it leaves the others just wanting. Just purely wanting. It is one of the nicest things to use. This is 2.5 calibre. Speed and power every time. This is, yes, an FAC version, but it's available in sub-12 and it's available in so many different colours in laminate or just basic wood, or you can have carbon. You, there's so many things that you can have. This is going to fit exactly what you want. Different length barrels as well, 60s, 45s, everything. This is set up purely for doing the job. And boy, is it going to do the job. Never mind these silly paintball things. Let me show you what this does. <laughs> Speed and power, yes! Just to prove it's not a fluke, set them up, Joe. <laughs> this is definitely the best one here. As always, I win yet again. All that much power. Just how quiet is that? Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Time to make yellow snow. Yes. So I think from that we can establish mine is definitely the one to have. Just look how it destroyed that target holder. <laughs> Speed and power. That doesn't prove anything other than you always have to go over the top. Yes, you'd be the one bringing a wrecking ball to a conquer fight, you baboon. Yes. So all of these are available in all the calibers. They're all short and they're all accurate. Yes, and they're all great fun to use and can be had in either sub 12 or FAC higher power levels. Indeed. So what we've established is they're all good value and it's down to personal preference. Well, I would say that is valuable consumer advice. And on that terrible disappointment, I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Thanks to Vector Air for helping and thank you for watching. See you next week. Goodbye. Bye.